see. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I cut a hole on the wrong freaking side. I hate you! Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this, and uh, I'll keep you up to date. There's some really cool stuff going to be going down in here. Welcome to Yellow. Somebody made a comment the other day uh, on the, the uh, Instagram post. That yellow is following that everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I just, is the I'm like yellow the everything. yellow in the world. Yeah. One house at a time. Now is the time to start our future masterpiece. Yep. And I know it seems counterintuitive in that we have this big building and we do lots of shipping and packing and creating and all of that stuff. Uh, but the most important part of our whole business is the videos. It's you. Right. It's well, your yeah, space. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> it's the video, right? It's the having the place to shoot the videos that mm -hmm. keep people interested. Yeah. And so it's a little counterintuitive, but the logical move would be to get the studio set up so we could continue Create to content. be in business, right? Yeah. And then we'll dial in all yeah. the offices and all that stuff because we're, we're air conditioned. We're functioning. We're going to get the roof done, so yep. the roof replaced. We'll have a new parking lot. We'll have a new roof, and we have um, a new AC, basically a new AC system. Yeah, it's working um, really well now. Yeah. In here, uh, we have Rytec doors going in, yep. Cree lighting, Swiss tracks flooring, Russo cabinets, uh, Cox hose reels, Werther compressor, basically a blank canvas that's 28 feet deep with block wall, block wall, Block wall, block wall, and then another block wall on the other Not side. Not this one, but this is a partition wall. The one behind Correct. that's the block Correct. wall. Uh, so we're going to have two 30-foot sections, or 35-foot sections. This section here that you're standing in, the yellow section here, uh, this is going to be the Russo cabinets, mm -hmm. the Swiss tracks flooring, and this will be my where I put the noose bomb scissor lifts in. This will be where we'll do... Uh, the vast majority of our, our video shoots. Yeah. The other 35 foot section is going to be our dry ice and indoor wash bay studio section. Detailing, polishing, uh, all that. And in there. between is going to be my office. Yeah. And the beauty of this is in order to get to my office, you're going to have to come through the garage. So I'm going to lock all the doors and hide. Uh, and so the <laughs> office will be another He's not part. Lying either. The center line for our room or center line for our garage door is right here. Uh, and so we're actually going to open this window up here so we can shove the drywall in yeah. and, and we're gonna get a dump trailer start doing demo well, yeah. our, our permit permit is inbound so we'll uh right take care so we're gonna do that. the stuff that isn't permit yeah required yep yeah. yeah. um and then um our we have an engineer and we have a we're hiring an engineer because we've got to do an engineering for the doors make yeah. sure all the loads and yeah the beams because and there's a lintel stuff. has to go in and right. and the door has to get the hole has to get cut in the block so we have to get the engineer hired i already have hired my general contractor so yeah. we have a gc and an engineer we have to cut the curb and stuff out there so yeah. but we can in the meantime we can take the carpet out and kind of get this the, yeah we we'll get it opened stuff. up get it cleaned up get yeah. the t ceiling tiles and go out of the way right. all that right. stuff so we'll get it get it to where it needs to be before the Cut the holes for the door. So um, this wall here, unfortunately, has to come out and get rebuilt uh, because my office is going to be roughly 18 feet wide. You need a bigger uh, office. So yeah. 35 feet from that that block wall to here is somewhere yeah. around this vicinity, uh, and so this wall has to come out, uh, and then this wall here will stay. It's all because I'm getting a desk in there. That's why. This uh, this is block as well. Um, so they, they blocked, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to end up cutting this block, making a hallway. There's going to be a, yeah. a roughly four-foot hallway yeah, here, we'll and then a, gla a wall of glass, and then my office theater is going to be from here to the Office wall. theater, I like that sound. That's good. And so one, I'm going I'm to have a custom-made couch that fits me exactly laying on my side, as so I can pivot from side to side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to live here. It's going to be great. Yeah. I'm going to be watching lots of Heartland in here. Okay, so come over to the other side and let me show you what that looks like. We can't get there without walking around. So again, block, 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 and block. Yep. So ceiling comes out. We're going to do a double door here. And so 
in the middle of this is getting another Rytec 20 by 10 with hurricane shutters. So it's a, spi uh, uh, a spiral, so it's the super high speed spiral. Uh, and then this whole wall here is gonna be Sonic MSS Plus. Uh, this will be a Nussbaum 2 post lift, Cree lighting. And, and I'm thinking about doing tile in here, doing yeah. that, uh, that dial tile. Uh -huh. The thick that, stuff, we were like a three quarter stuff. Yeah, the anti-slip, awesome. you know, anti slip, yep. slip resistant. Yep. And we need to do a slot drain as well somehow. Yeah. Maybe even multiple slot drains. Well, if we're doing that, we have to re-slope the floor anyway, so that'd be perfect time to, because you're gonna have to skim over it. You know, you, yeah. need, you need enough fall, so mm -hmm. if we put a center drain, that water goes where you want it. Can we have this done by end of July? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. We, we were just talking about all the other projects that are slated for this year that you keep adding. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I know, you really, yeah. you swear you're the Elon Musk of the detailing community. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yep. Looking forward to it. I'm just, the, I just I'm taking, my wheels are turning, I'm adding up weeks, months, years. No, I'm kidding. This is step one. This is, this, this is, phase is one. Yeah, this is going to be good though. I, what I love about it is I get to come to the same place every day that's air conditioned. I'm not working out in a hundred degree heat, hundred percent humidity, installing yeah. an outdoor kitchen. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Or on a roof, Mike, huh? You liked that, didn't you? Yeah, it was pretty warm up there. Yeah, this is going to be a fun project. Can't wait to use it all when we finish it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be off limits. You watch. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> the cool thing about this, though, is like I don't really like using any of it. I just like getting it. Yeah, I know you do. It. It's perfect for everyone else. That we all... <laughs> it just takes us a year to build this darn thing, and yeah. I don't even have to use it. No. I'm like, sorry, you know, we're using our tools and building the place to put our tools. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it's done, I'm like, all right, we're moving. Yeah, that's not, <laughs> that's not inaccurate. <laughs> At least there's nothing for you to trip on here. You know, for those of you that don't, for those of you who don't know, Mike trips on everything because he's always looking through the camera, backs over, knocks over tools, you know, drinks, whatever. First step, I'm gonna remove, well, not me, Trevor and me. Um, we're going to remove all the ceiling tiles, get everything exposed. We're going to leave the lights in place for now, the ducts, um, uh, the registers, if you will, um, and the sprinklers. So we're going to get this room, these two rooms in here, basically the whole space, the whole space cleared of uh, ceiling tiles. Then we'll move, remove all the T-bar, get this all opened up. Probably going to paint everything. I think what we're going to do, I was talking to Matt about this, I'll leave the carpet in for now. It'll act as a drop cloth, right? So we're not spraying, getting overspray all over the, all over the floor. And we'll go ahead and paint the trusses and the underside of the steel pan decking flat black. That way, it kind of just disappears, mm -hmm. and then the uh, then the Cree lighting can go in. So, plan for now: get all the ceiling tiles off, get them stacked, get them thrown away. Um, I am in the market for a dump trailer. I just found one. Nice. That way, we can haul large things too. For sure. Ramps are 200 bucks to go along with it, so it's a good deal. So as soon as Matt's done with his meeting, I gotta get the okay, and I'll probably go grab that, if not today, tomorrow morning. How many hours are we gonna be in on this building? Thousands? How many hours are in a year? <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, it's not gonna be tens of thousands. I would, oh, I would say in the neighborhood of 400 hours. To do the whole garage? Yeah. That seems kind of low, right? Mm-hmm. But that's times two people. Okay. So that's 800 man hours. Yeah, so maybe have people comment down below and give their best guess, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I'm not keeping track, Mike, because here's the thing. I'm thinking in terms of months, how long it's gonna take, knowing in my head how many other projects, as we've discussed today, that we're yeah. sliding in between yeah. doing this. So it's not like I can go full commit on this. So we're gonna start stacking tiles on the pallet, use a pallet jack to get them out of here. Okay, first. first, first actual. On the clock, doing something for us. Yeah. You know, we've been doing so much for everybody else. You give people a of what they can expect here. They can expect a lot. There's, it's gonna go, this part's gonna go fast. It's gonna look, it's gonna be a big transformation. Then we'll pull the doors off, we'll get drywall out of here, we'll start stacking debris in the middle. No, I'm serious, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a mess in a minute. I'm not messing around, Mike. No, I don't think You know, that's how we, that's how we do it. You know, Mike, I think we're going to call it. That's about it for the day. Yeah, stay tuned for the next video.
Hey, Mike, how's that pressure washer system at your house working? By now, people have seen that video. You want to do this? I'll hold the camera. Yeah, man, all of the tiles are out in both of these offices now. Obviously, this wall's coming out, so we took this, those tiles out. These are all out. So I've got Trevor in this office now getting those out. These are done. And then uh, when you see how much we have, four, four stacks on that pallet. So that is uh, biodegradable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can shred that and use it in your garden, Michael. Oh, good. Paper oh, product. Good. Paper product, you know. It, it looks like we're just about done. Yeah, we are. Build. Yeah, just about. Yeah, the build, build's just about finished. Yeah. I, all I got to do is take the T-bar out and then paint everything black and we're done. We'll be good. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, in fact, let me just put Swiss tracks right over the carpet. It's actually better to soak up the oils. It's quieter. That's the key. It's quieter. It will soak up the oils and uh, not might not be so good for the washing, but it'll dry, you know. Yeah, there's a lot to do. It looks like there's not much, but there's really a lot. I mean, there's a lot of electrical. We have a lot of data stuff going through. We have alarm system, the fire suppression, the duct work. There's quite a bit of stuff. So. But <laughs> one step at a time. It's, it's not fun to do that kind of stuff. I like building the stuff better than re rework, rework stuff. stuff, yeah. Yeah, but it'll get done. Right. Um. So where do we go from here? Do I need to continue? Well, Mike, I think for the people, I think it's more satisfying if we do it like this. Yeah, you Just, were kind of all over. I didn't uh, view the clip. Yeah, it was all over the place. So I think we do it back and forth like this yeah. all the way out. So. I think I think that's the plan. So we're going to start pulling the ceiling, but I noticed there's this uh, this fireproof cabinet in here. I wonder if this is full of cash. It's Mike. locked. Huh? It's locked. It's Shoot, it's heavy. It's full of gold bullion, Mike. If it's full, if it's full of hundred dollar bills, <clears throat> I'll bring it home and store it for a while, and then when when we're ready. I'll go ahead and open it at home and then bring it here. I can smell money, Mike. I smell cash. It smells like cash. Those executives at Citizen Bank that are watching this, we own this now. It's ours. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so uh, last you guys saw, there was a lot of T-bar left, so we cut that out of the way. And then what I did was I left enough around each light fixture so that we could wire the light fixtures up onto the trusses as high as we can get them out of the way. And took all the duct work out, so you can see that's return air there. That was supply, so we've cut those out. They're laying over here, so we're gonna end up doing a and expose like a spiral ductwork so it looks nice. Um, Cause that stuff isn't really aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna get that tucked up too. When we do that, we'll probably do some offsets, get it up higher. Uh, what else? Uh, next thing is to work on the room next door. So I'm gonna do exactly what we did here next door, plus there's two partition walls I'm gonna take down. 
When do we get it to this point where you can see now, as you can see, all the sprinkler uh, pipe is uh, exposed. So we're going to have to get, I'm going to get a sprinkler company out here, uh, fire suppression people, and uh, see if we can just utilize what's here as much as we can. Now, you can see here, they've socket welded a lot of the fittings onto this here. Whereas this one, we could turn it down, use the T's and put a screw, a, a, a head into these. So I have to get with them and see what they would do here. Oh, you have to raise the whole yeah, everything needs to go up. So it needs to go up as close to trusses as we can get it because we're gonna have lifts in here. Mm -hmm. So we don't want these all hanging down. Plus aesthetically, we're not gonna, we don't want anything down like this. We want everything tucked up nice and tight. The lowest thing will be duct work and we're gonna do what we can to get it up. I'm thinking of even, coming out of where that square is, that's supply there, getting a uh, adapt from square to round and come up and split off with maybe two smaller ductworks and shoehorn it in between, see where the triangle is in the truss, try to get them through there rather than having it below truss. That'll keep everything high and tight. So we'll see how, see how we can get that done. We have to have a little bit of engineering done to find out what, now that the space is larger, you know, we've almost probably a, mm, not, a, yeah, about a third bigger as far as volume because we moved, removed the T-bar ceiling. So now we're conditioning space that we weren't worried about before. Are either. we cutting this wall or what are we doing? We are going to do something because there's going to be a man door here. If the block is not filled with concrete, here's what we'd do. First three courses, we'd use a chipping hammer and chip around and more or less gently take those blocks out because We've got stuff going, going through them. But then when it's get below that, it's just a matter of sledgehammer and beating the crap out of it and it'll, it'll fall apart, really. Yeah. If it's not filled with concrete. Yeah. If it's concrete and rebar, it's not worth doing. Yeah. But I don't think it but is. we're putting glass, right? You're right, so half, a lot of this is going away anyway. So my thought was it may, it may be more cost effective to remove this and frame a wall out for the glass enclosure rather than trying to cut a hole in it because you got to get people out water jet the hole in it. But if we were going to do it, now's the time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So once we get the other side done and the other partition walls out of the way, that'd be the time to get rid of it. All right, so because, we, because we're going to be doing all this construction here, hauling off, rather than have a dumpster that sits here for a month at a time at a great expense, we went and bought a Big Tex dump trailer. So this one, will, this is seven by 14. It'll hold 10, 11,000 pounds. Um, 14,000 on the trailer and you can put another, you know, 1,400 on the, on the hitch. You look at a lot of these other trailers, I, w I did trailer shop and the trailers that are even about this price, a lot of them use only a 10 gauge uh, sheet metal or plate down at the bottom. I mean, this is more like plate than sheet metal. And then they use maybe a 12 gauge. Some of them have 10 gauge here, but then they use 10 gauge on the floor. This is seven gauge on the floor, so it's much stronger. This is 10 gauge, so it's pretty stout. It's got lots of tie downs. There's D-rings in the inside. Um, anyway, comes with a spare tire, obviously. Pretty nice. Not that I'm a big tech salesman, but yeah. I've, I've owned big tech trailers in the past and they're great trailers. Made in America, made in Texas. You'd probably be watching this with uh, touchless. Huh, I'm going to use touchless for sure at first, yeah. and then I'll get the tires all de-nibbed and, and we'll uh, coat the tires with OG tire dressing. I'm telling you what, I use it on the big stacker. I've used it on my truck. I used it. I actually used it on the RS the other day, yeah. and it's really, really good. It's a. This is a reformulated. So remember the first one we bought, yeah. that we well we bought that we were testing was not the reformulated one. The reformulated one is even better. Yeah. It really works. I mean, I I would say if your car sits around, if it gets some dust on it, some, you know, maybe a couple of bugs, you could li and if it's coated, this is if it's coated, you could use touchless and then dry it with your ego and you're good to go. Good. And you don't, for yeah, for trailers and stuff, it's great. Yeah.
Okay, so we're tearing walls out. This is the fun part, I guess, sort of fun. So um, everything's done as far as we can get, as far as I want to get right now, get the walls ripped out. Then I can take all the duct work out and then all that will left, be left up there is sprinklers. So I'll call the sprinkler guys for that. Get them out here to uh, at least tell me what I can do, what I'm allowed to do, if there anything needs to change, that kind of thing. So um, I kind of dr started dry dropping uh, drywall off. I took this door off and placed it there just so we could keep the dirt out of curated dust and noise because it's going to get dirty and noisy in here. Yeah. Um, What's the plan? You're just kind of getting all the walls out? Yeah, so these, this wall is coming out, all these walls. So we're going all the way back to this wall. This is the center block wall. This block, this wall's staying. But everything in between, these are just partition walls, so they don't even go all the way up. So these will get knocked out. This wall, and there's another partition that goes this way, this will all come out. It's basically a mirror image of this side. Um, we'll get those out, and then it'll be pretty much done as far as demo on the walls are concerned, and then we'll just get some temporary lighting lit up in here, and then we can do, uh, like I said, we'll do sprinklers. It's starting to feel like a garage in here. It's starting to get bigger. That's right. When it's, even just knocking that drywall out, it got a lot bigger. Yeah. So, and taking the doors off. And those doors are nice doors, actually. Yeah, they're pretty big. They're solid core. They're probably 125 pounds each, wow. I guess. They're pretty heavy. Maybe can less. Maybe not. Huh? We well, I mean, we're going to repurpose if we can. So, that's why I'm the way I'm taking these out, you can see steel frame. Then they put a, um, put, they sandwich in a, a two by wood. And then these, these are attached to the frame. They wrap around and screw in. So what I'll probably do is repurpose these because we're going to put a man door over here and one here. So we can repaint them any color we want. So I might just, uh, rather than have to buy a, a frame and a door, we'll just reuse them. Mike, talk to me about the garage giveaway right now. There's yeah, so that's starting. So I was just, we're just going over our yeah. plans for the year, right? Well, how much we have going on. The garage giveaway is one of those things. That starts July 15th, ends August 31st. So I don't know the number yet, Mike, do you? What the, what the, uh, what the garage giveaway is worth? Value? No, not cash value, the actual garage it's, value. Matt says 85K. 85K, but he usually goes over that. Yeah. yeah, so figure you're gonna get an 85, an, at least an $85,000 garage. That, that would get you very far. Like you could get everything <laughs> uh, close Yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I don't think you would need more than 85, unless you have like a 10 car garage or something. Right. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's, so all the merch, yeah, shirts, sure. hats, yeah. all count. There's some special Mike. There's some special Mike F edition shirts and hats that are coming out. Not a celebrity Not a celebrity Mike. <laughs> but I like Carhartt stuff, so we're getting some Carhartt shirts, um, black and gray, no, black and blue. Um, so those will have, I, Bryce hasn't, we talked about the design, but I haven't seen the final product yet, so I'm excited to yeah. get them, because that's all I'll probably wear from now on out. Yeah. Yeah. The hats are kind of thicker. Hats are cool. They're thicker. They're, they've got a bigger, a thicker sweatband because I, you know, if you work, these hats get, you Maybe know, people sweaty. People just go to the website right now. Support us. You just go and buy some stuff. You know? buy, buy a bunch. And the more you spend, the better your chances, right? Okay. So this is uh, it's exciting stuff. This is more exciting than some of the stuff we film, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously this is done. This is done. I'm working on cutting the window loose because I really want to break the glass. So I'm, I'm cutting her loose. See, I got most of it loose, but get this side zip loose. I had to go get a battery. Yeah. When I get this wall out and those walls out, and then I can take all the ductwork loose, it'll be a clean space. And then I'll tie up all this electrical. I can identify everything, get everything tucked up. And then when we get the sprinklers way tucked up, it's really gonna look like a big open space. How are you feeling right now? I mean, you're in the, you're in the weeds right now. I mean, how does, how does this feel for you? 
Uh, I just don't like that insulation. I hate it. Yeah. Hate dealing with insulation. Um, but other than that, I'm fine. Sorry, is this at all like you mean how am I feeling, like uh, progress-wise? It's going to be fun. It'll be fun. I think, I think the, the biggest part of the project is probably going to be reducting everything for the AC. And then obviously drywall is going to be a bit of a bit of work too, but you know. You can do anything. It just takes time. There was time. some commentary in the previous video about <clears throat> saying that there really isn't anything you can't do. So do you have any additional commentary? No. That? People are very nice. That's flattering. You know, when we're not rolling, you're researching, how do I cut drywall? Right, and right. That's that true. That's true. If you look at my YouTube playlist, yes. you can tell everything I've learned there's through the reason. week by what I've watched. Exactly. There you go. Yes. Well, I do it at home, so you really can't capture it on film anyway. I keep it on the down low, gotcha. you know? Yeah. In fact, I, you know, I'm, I was about to take some college courses on, uh, on uh, drywall repair, gotcha. you know? Gotcha. Mike, you know what I need? Mike, you know, if you would fix the little marzoka that you've been saying you're going to fix for like a year, you say, I got the parts, I need to fix it. You could have organic half so and half. The reason, uh, it is you are the reason. You're the reason I'm dragging right now a little bit because there aren't any lattes. Mike, you failed me. You know, you do a good job on the camera end, so I can't give you too much crap. I'm kidding. All right, well, time to get after it, Michael. So we took this window out, and I, people that know, know. Maybe we should, <laughs> should do this. But it's probably a 352 area code, and yeah. the last digit's covered there. So you'll have to, you'll have to, it looks like it could be a three, could be a five, could be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You never know. I'm not so sure. So you have to try at least nine times where you get a hold of Steve. Like, who would have known that you were over here building this building here years ago? You, you know, left yourself a future note. That was going to be my new phone number when I moved to Florida. I was anticipating. Mm -hmm. Should I call myself? Steve's going to be getting a lot of calls. Steve, if Steve, did Steve, a good job. if Steve worked on this place, he did a good job. I haven't seen anything that I would say was below board. Everything's good. It's a lot bigger in here now, huh? Yeah. It's a whole lot of mess. Yeah, got some progress. So obviously this is all done. All the drywalls removed on uh, on this this these two offices pretty well cleaned up. I borrowed some people from the warehouse. Janet, Miss Janet, let me borrow some people. So I have myself, Trevor, Zach, uh, Dante, Andrew, Ted, and even Samantha help. So we got this place cleared out. Trailer is full, in a jiffy. So that that saved me a bunch of time and Trevor a bunch of time of hauling stuff back and forth. So all we have left to do is. Uh, Pull the, pull the walls down. Let's go look at the trailer. It's our first, our maiden voyage to the dump. All right, so she's fully loaded. We have, obviously the, the, the trailer comes with this tarp that goes over, which is great, because you can load it all the way to the top. You don't have to worry about insulation blowing out. Um, I also adjusted the trailer so it sits level now. I lowered the hitch on the trailer. They had it at the max height here, so I moved it down. So now everything sits level, which is great. Toes super nicely. All right, I'm gonna make a run. So stay tuned for uh, more of this.
All right, Michael. Walls are officially down. So that last load, that was 14 and a half yards. No more walls. So now I just load all this crap up. There, are, there isn't that much. So these are, these are the circuits that feed this place. Right here's a feeder. This is a, two, I think this is 277. So it's three phase, right? I've got three, I did four fingers, three phase. There's the ground, okay. So three phase, one phase to ground is 277. So will we be using that for the Cree stuff? Yeah, Cree is 120 to 277. So it, it it just based on incoming voltage. So yes, we will be using it. So the nice thing about higher voltage is it draws less current. So you can run with a with a 12 gauge wire, you could theoretically run a lot more lights on a single 20 amp circuit with 277 than you can at 120. Roughly double the amount. Got it. So what do you think, Mike? Double the voltage, half the current. What do I think? Yeah. So the next thing is to get all this loaded up and then we get to get all the ductwork out of here. Um, once I get the ductwork out, we'll get the sprinkler guys out here, like I was saying, and get their take on what we can do, what we can reuse, what's allowable. Now that we've got a larger space, are there more heads necessary? Yeah, why don't we wrap it here because we've got just all this cleanup to do and then I think we can start the next one. You may um, have the ductwork done, but Maybe, I might, but that's not that interesting. So basically, I'll explain what I'm gonna do. I, just like I did next door, yeah. I'm just gonna cut all this duct out and toss it. And then what we have is we have return air right here coming through, and then we have supply which comes through the wall over there. So I'll cut it right at wall and right at wall, and then we'll know return and supply, and we'll tie back into that. This one goes straight through to that wall, so we know that is supply feeding through. The return for the next room goes through the wall over there. Yeah. So it doesn't, this return doesn't tie in with that room's return. It's, they're, they're separate for some reason. So, All right, so if you're watching this, go enter the giveaway. It's the 15th through August 31st, July 15th through August 31st. All apparel, yes. right? There's some other items in there. I don't know what they are yet. Oh, there's coffee. So we did that last time as well, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's a pound of coffee or you got to buy a La Marzocca, Mike? No, they'll be able to buy a bag of coffee. Oh, nice. So go enter the giveaway. That means we'll come to your house. Transform your life. Mike, Mike, Matt, Trevor, probably Andrea, possibly the dog. Definitely the dog. Wobble, wobble, wawa. Next video, we'll see you on the next one. Tagline. We're My tagline? Yes, yeah, Like, give me an example, Mike. Like, uh, what are you thinking? Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, what's your YouTuber? My YouTuber statement, like and subscribe. <laughs> Let's go with whatever else. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Mike Waba. All right, well, until the next one, we'll see you uh, probably two weeks from now. Furthermore, anyway. Mike, I think we need to enter this scene with uh -huh. some energy. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta be. I'll be energetic, you Mike. Just be, like, in something. All right, you ready? Yeah. Huh? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me, get, <laughs> you gotta be like let me get a crowbar. You ready? You ready? Okay, so we're tearing walls out.